We know that Michael Jackson was full of surprises during his life, so maybe we shouldn't be that shocked that his will contained a few surprises as well. CBS News' Bill Whitaker is in Los Angeles with more on that this morning, and he joins us live from Encino. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Dave. Now, some of the details of Michael Jackson's will had been revealed, like, for instance, that he wanted his mother, Catherine, to be guardian of his children. But other details revealed in court were bombshells. The biggest, that Debbie Rowe, the mother of his older two children, is out. Jackson states specifically and clearly in his will, I have intentionally omitted to provide for my former wife, Deborah Jean Rowe Jackson. That is a, a big surprise, and I think it's going to be a terrible blow to her. There's no mention of his father, Joe, at all. Another big surprise, if for some reason Jackson's mother, Catherine, can't serve as his children's guardian, he wants Motown diva Diana Ross to care for them. She discovered him in the Jackson 5, and she's been his friend and mentor for four decades. We have never heard one single scandal about Diana Ross's children. She is an excellent mother. But just because Jackson wills it doesn't mean the courts must agree. He has no ability to determine where the kids go, but it is a request. So the court will take that into consideration. Named executors of his estate, two longtime friends and business associates, music executive John McLean and attorney John Branca, who negotiated Jackson's purchase of the Sony Song Library worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, the courts left Katherine Jackson in charge of Michael Jackson's estate until Monday, just in case any other wills should surface. If none do, the judge is likely to put Jackson's old business partners in charge as per Jackson's last known wishes. Maggie? CBS's Bill Whitaker. Thanks, Bill. Attorney and former prosecutor Jack Ford is the anchor of Courtside on the In Session channel, and he joins us to talk more about the will. Hi, Jack. Good morning. Maggie, good to see you. You too. Let's elaborate a little bit on what Bill touched upon. First of all, inside the will, Michael Jackson's intentional omission of his former wife, Debbie Rowe, the mother of two of his children. I have intentionally omitted to provide for Deborah Jean Rowe Jackson. Surprising to you? You know what, when you look at it, Maggie, it, it's probably not a surprise. And, and people should realize it's not an insult to her. It's not say, saying, I'm going to rub her nose in this and say, you're not part of the package at all. Essentially, she had given up on their, their marriage. It was dissolved. Uh, they had resolved their property distribution. They also had resolved the custody. She had given up custody. So this is just a very careful lawyer saying, let's be sure we put it in writing here. She's not part of the family. She's not going to be part of whatever a state there is. I wonder if this may be challenged because this will dates back to 2002 and things may have changed between Michael Jackson and Debbie Rowe. Well, it, the only thing that you might see in a challenge would be her saying, I want to get back into the custody situation now. Remember that she had given up custody, then when he got in trouble, when he had his criminal charges, she got back into the picture of custody and then we're told they resolved it again in a discussion. But if she wants to turn around and say, look, he's dead now, I'm the biological mother, I want to get involved in the custody situation, biological parent always has an advantage Advantage, but it's not a slam dunk. They always look at what's in the best interest of the child, but she could come into play for custody, but not getting a part of the estate. Okay, let's look at another excerpt from the will. This is where Michael Jackson talks specifically about custody of his children. He yeah. wants to name his mother, Catherine Jackson, as the guardian. Right, and very clearly saying that's who it is here. Again, if it gets to a custody battle, but not a surprise at all that he says her because of the relationship with right. the children, gets to be a custody battle, the fact that he said this is the guardian doesn't end the discussion. A judge would have to decide, these are, the, these are the magic words, what's in the best interest of the child or the children here? Now, his wishes would certainly play a role in that decision, but ultimately a judge will say, who is best suited to take care of these children, Catherine? or perhaps Debbie Rowe wants to get in. A lot of people mix. don't realize a will is, is a recommendation. Yeah. It's not necessarily a slam dunk, Yeah, right? it, exactly. It's saying, here's what I want to happen, but if there's going to be a challenge to it, a court still has to take a look at it. Your wishes are important right. and are going to be a factor here, but doesn't necessarily end the discussion. So if a judge says, okay, Catherine Jackson, maybe because of her age, maybe for other reasons, right. is not a proper guardian, would they then look at Michael Jackson's second choice? He was very careful to yeah. mention a number and, two, and which is, is Diana Ross. Diana Ross. And, and, and the, the 
the real interesting thing is, when was the last time you saw Diana Ross being a backup to anybody yeah. here? <laughs> exactly. Good point. So here they say, uh, if it's not possible, then Diana Ross steps in. Again, that, that's just good planning. You should always have lawyers, the state lawyers will tell you, always have a backup for your executor, always have a backup for your trustee, have a backup for your guardian. Mm -hmm. Here they had a very close relationship, apparently, Diana Ross. So uh, not surprising there is a backup here. Very interesting that it happens to be Diana yeah, Ross. Yeah, not surprising though, you're right. Yeah. And Michael Jackson was very careful to initial every single paragraph. Yeah, people he looked at this and they, and they said, wow, look at this Michael Jackson. Again, the reality is when you do a will, the lawyers will have you either initial the bottom of every single page and then you sign it or on the edges. The reason is let's make sure that a, a page doesn't get pulled out oh, sometime. Okay. Nothing sinister. Let's just be careful. That's why you see his signature on the margins there. Thank you, Jack. Hi, Great Maddie. to have you this morning. You